the thing that bind nuclei together is a strong nuclear force. But this force is short range, so it can only talk with nearby protons and neutrons. For example, if we look at this proton right here in the nuclei, it would talk with all its neighbors. So this neutron here, and this neutron here, and this neutron here, and the proton behind it, and so on. However, as you know, protons are positively charged, and by the Coulomb propulsion, these protons should start repelling each other. Let's go back and look at our nuclei again, and we look at the same proton. So by these pairs, this proton will experience a force this way, and these pairs will give the proton to experience a force that way, and the proton behind it will also shoot it out. And this interaction is long range, so with a higher and higher number of protons, this repulsion gets too large. It turns out the balance between protons and neutrons look like this. On the x-axis we have the number of nucleons in the nucleus and in the y-axis we have the average binding energy per nucleon. And so if we get more and more nucleons then the protons will repel the nucleus. We see that iron is most tightly bound. Elements with more nucleons than iron then the nuclei can bind stronger by fissioning so it will lose some protons so to speak. For example, uranium is heavier than iron, and so the nucleus can bind stronger by splitting into two smaller nuclei. And if we're on the other scenario, that there aren't too many protons, and the repulsion is weak, and so the core can go fusion to have more of this strong nuclear force, but still not too many protons, so the Coulomb repulsion is too big. An example of this is two hydrogen atoms fusing together into helium. The energy then comes from E equal mc, where E is the energy, m is the mass, and c is the light speed squared. The two hydrogen nuclei and the uranium nuclei is actually heavier than after fissioning and fusioning. Albert Einstein's famous equation tells us that the energy is released from the difference in mass.